Okay, friends, great to have uh, everyone with us here today. I'm with my good buddy Nathan Teagarden from the uh, great city of Kansas City. Chiefs didn't yes. quite pull it off this year, did they, Nathan? Huh? No, no, I don't know what was worse. I mean, if they didn't go to the Super Bowl or go to the Super Bowl and lose. Yeah, that's right. um, but, <laughs> but, you... but yeah, that was a heart heartbreaker, but that's okay. Uh, I think we could potentially go back You'll next go back. year. I mean, we You'll gotta, go back. You, yeah. got, you got the team, that's for sure. Well, listen, yeah, uh, right. Nathan and I want to take some time to talk with you about uh, we, we've got Easter coming up here in uh, about five or six weeks, and we're excited about that. Nathan is, uh, serves a great church up in the Kansas City area, Summit Park Church. He, Nathan and I have known each other. I've known him since he, since he was a college kid. So if anybody wants any dirt on him being a college kid, uh, <laughs> I've got that. But honestly, he serves in a great role uh, in a variety of capacities. One of those capacities here at Summit Park is um, helping connect people in church. So um, Nathan, I'd I'm not just going to throw you a softball here. We've got Easter coming at us. Um, what are things that pastors need to think about as Easter is coming at them? Yeah, so as it relates to connections, I mean, there's certainly the, um, you know, what messages you're going to preach to your church to encourage them to invite their friends, which is, by the way, still the most effective way yeah. to get people to come to your church is through the people of your church. So um, as I ask people... Uh, you know, hey, how'd you hear about our church? It's usually, hey, so-and-so invited us, or they're already with those people, so I know that, hey, they got invited by so-and-so, or it's a relative that invited them. Yeah. So that's still the most effective way to get people to come out to church, is your people inviting others that they know to the church. Um, obviously, there's other things that are important, uh, you know, SEO uh, with Google and your your marketing on social and things like that. But um, I, I really believe in just the old fashioned motivate your people to reach out to others that they know. And so um, one of the things that we have been doing and did for Christmas to get people to come out to our, our Christmas service was uh, we did a Zoom volunteer rally. Uh, to, I think it was actually two weeks before, um, but we're doing it for Easter again. We're doing it two weeks before. And so we're just getting all of our, our key leaders, all of our key volunteers uh, together and really motivating them to say, hey, here's going to be our strategy. It's it's really a time to pray. It's a time to say, you know, hey, this is what our focus is going to be. And um, here's some tools for you to be able to invite your friends and family, neighbors, coworkers out to Easter. So I guess I guess to answer your question, um, the, the thing to be thinking about is how can I inspire my church to invite a friend okay. to Easter? Yep. Like letting that be the focus, because at the end of the day, connections doesn't work if you don't have anybody to connect. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, really connection starts with saying, hey, we, we need to get people here. So it's kind of got a marketing edge to it. Uh, but again, that's the most effective ways is, is is through the people that are already coming to your church. And so because you have these volunteers who already believe in the church and you're pulling them together with your Zoom call and uh, and pastors, you know, pouring it on to them about how excited he is. You're getting them excited to connect with their their friends because ultimately we're going to get to the to after Easter, and mm. you know the greatest day in the world is to talk to a pastor is the day after Easter. The worst <laughs> day in the world to talk to a pastor is the Monday after the Sunday after Easter uh -huh. when no, every, <laughs> nobody's everybody's gone. So right, right, what, right. what are you saying to your people now when they've invited their friends? How do you take that further to connect them beyond Easter? Well, I think there's some responsibility that we have to, to make sure that they have an easy win to get them to come back to Easter. So they, now, they the guest? Uh, or, so no, no, they as in the, the, the pastor and the staff. And, okay, and okay. Like we have a responsibility uh, to really the, the sermon series after Easter you know, that really speaks to that, like, okay, what are we, what are we motivating yeah. them to come yeah. back to? Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, that would be an easy way to motivate those that have invited others to say, hey, you got to come back to this new series that we're starting. Hopefully they, you know, they came to Easter so that you promoted it at Easter, but it would be one that would be an easy lob that it's, it really speaks to uh, life. And it's um, something that would speak to somebody that's maybe new to church, that's shy about church, been unchurched, de-churched. 
and um, it's really practical and gives them uh, some life wisdom. And, and so that would be an easy way to get them, you know, hey, come back. So that's really on our responsibility as pastors is, is helping them. And then I think on the, on the front side, giving them the understanding that, hey, this isn't just an event. We don't, the goal isn't just to get a bunch of people out right. to an event. Right. The goal is to ultimately connect people. So as you're talking to your, your key volunteers, key leaders, it's saying, hey, we got to be in this for the long haul. So not just say, hey, if you invited them and they came, man, that is a huge, huge win. Now let's focus on next steps. Yeah. So then that's when I would move the conversation to next steps. Okay, what are their next steps in connecting in the church? Which, you know, that would be your, if you have something like a welcome party, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, some kind of connect event where it's like a first date. You know, they came and checked out the church. They they came and sampled, you know, what you guys are all about. But now they get to actually meet you. They get to see where you've been as a church, where you're going as a church, uh, what are your values, what are your beliefs, all that. You know, they can meet key leaders. Um, so the goal would be to get them to that next step, um, just in terms of a, um, a, a just a, a connecting step. Yeah. You know, a spiritual step would be baptism. Yeah. So you know, if they give their life to Christ, now now we want to not only get them to the welcome um, party, but then now we want to get them to baptism. So I, what I would say to sum this all up is, you really got to have those next steps really in place for them to know. Okay, now how. What is my next step here at the church? It's not just about the one-time event Easter, which is great they came. That's really awesome. But how can now we connect them further into the life of the church, which is ultimately where they're going to stick. Exactly. And those next steps have to be planned now, not then. Right. You know, I mean, if, in fact, you're you're probably a day or two behind schedule now. So you you got to right. pick it up and you got to get those next steps in place. Now, I heard it said, uh, Nathan, you and I didn't talk about this ahead of time, so if we disagree, just slap my hand. And but a uh, good friend of ours, uh, uh, Wakefield, w would use the term at one point of talking about the the sermon series following the Sunday should have a a bent or an attraction to males. Um, that men men are the hardest ones to get to church. Mm -hmm. So the wife has talked him into coming to church. And so if you're planning the series afterwards. It needs to have an angle to men. It'll be way easier to get him and his wife back and so on versus something that's fluffy. Now, I know it's not politically correct. I didn't say it right and <laughs> so on. But uh, pastors just tuck that away, tuck that away. Yeah. Now, uh, Nathan, uh, Nathan is the creator. Uh, you've uh, you've seen the a couple of the PDFs we've released in the last couple of weeks, the Done For You scripts, absolutely phenomenal uh, piece that you need to get. It's I've got it right here in the uh, in the blog. So just grab a hold of that and uh, download it. It's free to you. It's text. It's emails. It's voice mm -hmm. scripts. It's everything. The other one that Nathan created, uh, an outstanding piece, was the uh, the turnkey follow up process. And mm -hmm. what I appreciated so much about that, Nathan, is it was so simple. It's about, uh, what is it, four pages? And uh -huh. it just very simply walks you through the process that you do to get guests to come back. So anyway, mm -hmm. outstanding. those are both here in the blog. Yeah, yeah. And here's what kind of the, the big thing on follow-up is it's both simple and complicated all in one. Yeah. Like the, the, the idea of follow-up is not complicated. Right. I mean, it's just reaching out to the people that have come to your church. Uh, but it gets very complicated in that, you know, okay, when do I send the text message? When do I send the email? When yeah. is it too much? What do I say? Yeah. Who says it? You know, all of those things are variables and factors and time timing is critical. Yeah. The longer you wait to follow up, especially after you've had a big Easter service, everybody's high-fiving, celebrating. I mean, the last thing you want to think about is another like, okay, now let's send out a hundred emails and text messages and let's get our follow-up team. But the way you can take the um, the burden out of that is to plan ahead. Yeah. It's just to simply have, okay, we've laid the tracks to run on yep. for Easter happens. And okay, now we just press a button and boom, the follow-up process yep. starts. So it's really important that that's taken care of way before Easter ever happens. Exactly. Nathan, this has been outstanding. Uh, just And I really appreciate you taking the time just to chat with our, uh, our viewers here. Um, give us a hitch up on this. What well, if, if pastors don't remember anything you say, what is that thing you say, you've got to remember this? 
Um, I, I would say if you want to uh, connect people in your church, so you know, let's say you get them to Easter, you've done a great job of marketing, you get them there, and they come and they visit. Um, I would say that the big thing is it's not complicated. It just takes work. Okay, so don't you know you want to make sure you got a great system in place, but don't miss the um, the personal side yeah, of, yeah. of reaching out to people, That's and so don't put good. that burden all on yourself. Make sure that you've got a team. Everybody's got to do it. Yep. Yeah, that the people are following up. That it's not just you doing. I mean, it's great if you're able to do it, um, but if you've got a team, even better because it's not just going to be one phone call. It's going to be several phone calls. Yep. It's going to be emails. It's going to be. I would encourage you to go further than than to um, do less. I just recently um, we're looking for a car and man, those salespeople, they know how to follow up. Man, they know how to give you a call, a text message. They want to know, they want to sell those cars, man. Yeah. And I just think, man, they're doing it for and it's, you know, great. I, I totally get it and understand, but they're doing it for a temporal cause. Man, we're doing it for an eternal yeah. cause. Yeah. So let's go after these people that uh, help them to know the importance of being in church and ultimately Finding and follow, following Jesus. So yep, exactly. that's why I would leave you with there. The, the it's not just the event; it's long after the event. Put the elbow grease into it. You'll be glad that you did, and you'll have people stick um, if you'll do that. Exactly. Wow, wonderful. That is great, uh, Nathan. Uh, if you want to uh, just uh, be, check out the the church that Nathan's uh, very uh, very much a part of and uh, make it a great impact, it's summitpartchurch.com. Do I have that email right? Summitpartchurch.com. Yep, yep, and uh, right. no. and you can check that out. And again, be sure to download the two PDFs, the done for you scripts, and the uh, turnkey follow up process right here in this blog. And uh, just uh, take advantage of any of the resources that we've got available for you. We want you to win. We want the church to win. The, the guests come and they come back and experience Jesus as your church. Thanks very much for being with us today. Make it a great one and be blessed.